I've noticed a lot of songwriters are just like sad and depressed people. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Ginger here, and it's freaking Christmas, and I'm making a YouTube video. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna jump right into it. Um, I have been doing some market research about songwriters. Whatever you want to call it, market research. I've just been asking us songwriters, you know, around the world, like, what are you having problems with? What are your issues? And I've noticed a lot of songwriters are just, like, sad and depressed people. <laughs> who are struggling to stay motivated and stay inspired and believe in themselves and believe in their lyrics and all that kind of stuff. And it's really sad. And so I just wanted to make a video like trying to get that out of you and get that personality out of us and to have us start enjoying songwriting again. So I am going to share a theory. This is sort of like a mindset shift that can help you not feel that way and feel inspired again and enjoy songwriting. Because if you're not enjoying songwriting, you're probably not gonna write a very good song. So just saying. This is one tip that will help you not feel that way. Ask yourself this question. This very simple, deep question. Why did you start writing songs? Did you really start writing songs to make money? When you were like, I don't know, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, however old you were, 25, I don't know. Did you did you write your first song and say, and say, man, I hope I get rich and I hope I make a million dollars off this and I hope people all over the world hear this song? No. <laughs> and if you did, then what? <laughs> it seems like most songwriters start to either express themselves and express a situation or instance, you know, whether it be a relationship or a family member or whatever, it's either that or they wanted to, you know, they were inspired and they just wanted to like get something out of them or they just thought it was fun and they wanted to see what happened. So you're never like starting to write songs and wanting to be famous. And so ask yourself and ponder on this. Why do we feel that way now? And why are we so depressed and sad that nobody or very few people are listening to our music? I, I guess I do struggle with this because I don't even release my music on Spotify because it's like, what's the point? Only probably five people are going to listen to it unless I market it, which I am not a music marketer, so I don't even know how to do that yet. But why am I withholding my art from the world? And why am I withholding my music from the few people who actually do want to hear my music? Why am I keeping it from them just because not a lot of people are going to listen to it? Why does that even matter? Why has songwriting, this art, become so like dependent on people listening and on other people? Why isn't it just us writing songs for ourselves and sharing that and sharing our art and our creativity with the world. Why does it matter if a million people are going to listen or not? Because for one, that's not even in our control. We cannot control how many people listen to our music. We cannot control if people like our music. What we can control is if we're creating and sharing. And I believe that's what makes a person feel fulfilled. And that's what makes a person feel happy because they're doing it and they're actually taking action and expressing their art and living. You know, we can only control so much in our lives. We can't control everything. So with the things that we can control, we should do that stuff and take action and like jump on shit. <laughs> Excuse my French. But yeah, we should be doing that. And so I challenge any viewers who are watching this, including myself, to post a song on Spotify. Whether it's your first song, whether it's a song that you feel like you're not ready to post, post it on Spotify. Maybe four people will listen to it. That's four people. And they might really like it. So you've actually made four people have a nice experience listening to your song. 
I challenge you. And if you do do that, please let me know. Because I'm curious if anybody has the guts to do that. Including myself, if I do it, I'll post it in the comments and tell you. Share your link, or share the title or whatever. I'll listen to it, I'll be one of your listeners. Yeah, we as songwriters need to help each other out, man. Push each other, keep each other motivated, keep each other inspired. Because there's, there's like a lack of connection in the songwriting community. There's a lack of people giving a shit about your stuff and giving a shit about you. And yeah, I feel like there needs to be something that helps people with that. So yeah, drop a comment below if you take that challenge and post a song on Spotify. Maybe I, I want to be the first. I want to do it today. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm still working on my setup. It's extremely dark in this corner. Um, and my lighting sucks. So I don't know what I'm going to do because my window is over there. But anyways, thanks for watching. Um, yeah. I do want to mention. I forgot that I was going to say this. But I have bundled all three of my courses into one package. It's the price of one, it's over seven hours of songwriting content, and yeah, I feel like a lot of the stuff in there helps you feel more motivated and inspired and accept yourself creatively and believe in yourself. So a lot of that is in there, in the stuff below. Um, it's awesome. The three courses that you get are 12 Methods to Melody Mastery, which are the only 12 methods I use to write amazing melodies for clients, for myself, and I never have writer's block. Number two is from idea to finish song. The biggest problem in the songwriting community is finishing your song. I've asked, that's what people have said. So I made a course that shows you exactly how to finish your song. The third course is a six week course to shift your mindset as a songwriter and start opening creative doors that aren't opened. And it really just gets you into the mindset of being a songwriter. Um, the songwriters who have taken that course were, it was almost like the kickstart of them really taking their music seriously. So that is in the package below. Like I said, it's seven plus hours of content, three courses for the price of one. So yeah, it's pretty freaking epic. Click the link below to check it out. And uh, yeah. Happy writing.